Hey, what's going on guys? I'm the Fault Sanctum here, and I know the camera angle is a little weird, but it's mainly going to be for the deck profile, so we're going to hop right into it. This is my take on blue-green Imperial, but mostly like heavily based in green. Uh, I played blue Imperial, but it's like Monkey Flip Mystic Mind, so I felt like I wanted to play something that required maybe just a tad bit more brain cells to operate. So, let's hop right into the deck profile. Hope you guys enjoy the music uh, and everything. Um, and uh, let's hop right into it. Uh, so because we're running mainly mono green, uh, it's mono green with a splash of blue. Uh, so we are running the four Minimons. Uh, the reason why you run Minimon is that uh, when attacking, uh, if you attack an opponent's Digimon, you get 1k. Um, so that's always good. Uh, of course you can only attack rest of Digimon unless you have an ability that says you can do otherwise. Or we're running the one Argo just because there's no other real good uh, yes, Tanamon, uh, but I mean, I guess having, um, if I untap with him, it's it's like a plus, I don't need to Digivolve to get perks, so I feel like that's why, that's, that's why it's a little better. Next up, we're going in the rookie lineup, uh, so yeah, of course we're running the, the four, the four blue Vmons, it is, it is, it is an Imperial deck, right, so I have access to blue Imperial, I can go the Unga Chunga route. Right, uh, and this is just this is just a nutty card. Honestly, a four of in just about every deck that has access to blue. It's just so good. Next up, we got the two Terrier Mons. Terrier Mons mainly there for the Ragna matchup. Mainly there for uh, yeah the the Ragna, the yellow, the purple matchups. Uh, blue doesn't really care about memory game besides Hammer Spark. Um, so that's that's why it's there. I feel like it's pretty good. And when I was play testing it, it uh, it did fantastic. Uh, Warmon is just there for recovery. Uh, he's going to be something I'm going to drop on the field. Normally, he's going to be one of the source evos, but he has an on deletion. Look top three at a blue uh, at a level four or five uh, digi. Uh, so he helps me search pieces if I bricked, uh, and he also kind of guarantees or forces a blocker if you don't really want to take the damage. He's one KDP anyway, so we don't really care about swinging the Digimon with him. Uh, but if ever they play a 2K, uh, I would I would gladly trade the Minnow, uh, the Minnow Wormon for one of their cards. All right. Um, next up, we got my boy Spaghetti Handles. Uh, Spaghetti Handles Argomon, uh, the baby. Um, really good card. Uh, it's, a, it's a 3K for two uh, and zero cost evil, so not too much to say about it. it is a vanilla so it doesn't really have any extra like text or stuff about it uh, I decided to start running blockers uh, one thing I realized uh, in my games uh, was that when I was um, when I was playing there there are some times where I felt like if I just had a blocker uh, I could have easily mitigated some damage and regained some tempo and stuff so that is that is a lot of the things I wish I could have done um, so yeah, uh, I just feel I just feel like blockers are quintessential in just about every deck. Even even in um, the Turbo Mystic Mine, uh, in some matchups you really want to see a blocker. But of course, if you're playing against Red Yellow, then you just get body hard, uh, just because Red Yellow just just murders rookies and champions, and that's that's the main focus of most of the decks now. Besides like Shang Grimon and shit, and uh, even Shang Grimon can't survive a, like a 25k nuke from Eden's Javelin. So it's like. <laughs> Um, uh, then we got the Vegemon. Uh, Vegemon is a one co uh, He's a four cost for one. Uh, a four cost for one green on a on a level three. Uh, six KDP. Six KDP really matters because if he has like a rested blocker and I'm swinging to a Digi, if I have the guy that gives me one K, right? If I have the Minomon as a source, I could be running Agu instead of working Wormon. But I, I do I do I do like the search uh, off the Wormon. It really does help. Felt like it really came in the clutch. Um, next up, we got Stigmon. Now, now we, people people are gonna get like mad sus. Like, why are you running Stigmon? Stigmon's a bad one. You can just run Kabu, but you know, like I'm only running one cost, uh, one cost Evos for champions besides the Blogger. Uh, so I feel that like giving the Inherit to my Pyeldramon or Dino Bimon, being able to uh, gain back that memory just to be able to choke them and stuff, uh, is also pretty good. Uh, next up, Gargomon. The reason why we play Gargomon over Kabuterimon is mainly just the energy cost. Uh, sure, it's a little weaker, but uh, the Gargomon won't really be swinging. Normally, we're just gonna, like, so we would ride and then go ultimate, right? And then, like, if that passes the turn, that passes the turn. But it's, it's like, four, four cost Evo for two Digimon, so I draw two cards, so I feel like that's that's pretty damn good. Uh, next up, we got more of the blue engine. Uh, of course, our boy Pyildramon, uh, Desperado Blaster Yo ass off. Uh, 
really great card, has jamming, and has the inheritor that we want for the Imperial Jamon. It has that uh, if you have Pyle in uh, Pyle as source, then when you swing, you one tap. And so then it allows us to use the conditional activation for the green Imperial Jamon that says when it deletes something, it restands. So we can kind of, we like, it, on a board, if they have a lot of rested things or whatever, we, we can just like clear the board uh, with the Pyle Jamon, Imperial Jamon combo. Um, Uh, next up, we got we got four Dino Beamon. It's the green version of Pyle Jamon. It has piercing and jamming, which is great. It's like the best of both worlds. Uh, it's also it's 7k like Pyle Jamon, but the thing is, it has piercing, so it will benefit from Gargomon and Minomon and Stingmon and all that good stuff. Honestly, could be playing the green Agu Vanilla. Uh, not in vanilla, but the one that has inherited plus 1k and soul. Uh, next up are Megas. I decided to run two greens, three blues. Uh, so because, like, it's not a blue focus Unga Chungus deck. It has piercing and other stuff, and I felt like I felt like it would be appropriate for uh, more uh, more diverse matchups. And sometimes, honestly, like, if you just play against black, then uh, the, the blue one just gets, like, walled up super hard. But this guy, this guy can push for damage uh, against black, because every time they block, I restand. So it's like... We stand up to three times in a turn. Like it goes swing, restand, swing, restand. So that's like really good because I can get three attacks in, force three blockers, and push at least a minimum three damage if I don't get like Infinity Cannon or something when playing against the black deck. Of course, we are running Davis Motomiya. Yeah, there's no reason to run Kenichi Georgi. Uh, biggest reason why is that Davis on play can add up to two cards to our hand, which is amazing. Um, and he's a memory setter, and he's needed for our Hammer Spark. Because often we're going to have a green source on field and we're not going to have a blue source, so we definitely need uh, stuff. Uh, so Hammer Spark, just if you don't know about it, it, it is uh, the nuts, the generic nuts, just amazing, uh, amazing card. Um, I, I don't know what else to say. Uh, I I am running a little bit of a spice attack. I am running two Terrors Cluster. So in some matchups, I figured uh, and I felt that when I was playing Blue Imp, that if I had something that could you know lower the amount of attacks I have to deal with, Especially on things that can restand, like at end of battle and stuff like that, or whatever. You know, just I, I figured that Terra's Cluster could be a good thing because it's just more defensive stuff. I don't really want to run the Flower Cannon. I could, but I don't want to. I I, I want to build things my way, and I'm a little low on Flower Cannons uh, normally because they're expensive. So uh, I don't tend to keep them for me. I just resell them for Geek. Uh, and then we have the Positron Laser. Positron Laser, kind of nutty. Uh, just just stuns two cards for free. And it's always going to be active. And so I want to thank you guys for watching the video. Uh, this was our... Uh, yeah, so, yeah, this was my green Imperial Focus blue-green imp deck. So I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, uh, drop a like, subscribe, and share for more. There will be more deck profiles uploaded. Uh, I've been super, super, super busy recently, and but I have I have some things I want to do, I have some videos I want to make. Uh, waiting to record the invitational, uh, the, the 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 report for the invitational with all the deck lists and stuff. There's going to be a few deck lists missing, but I mean, uh, I, I I hadn't made it mandatory to get stuff. So um, yeah. Uh, well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I'll probably be posting this up today or tomorrow. We'll see. Uh, but have a good one, guys. Take care.